Hi everyone and welcome back to a new series. So in this series we're gonna be recreating a squid game in Roblox. We're gonna be mainly focusing on the red light green light game mode and before we start I want to let you guys know that if you guys want to have the entire game file uh, plus every single one of my tutorial files without having to follow any tutorial they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description. With that being said, let's start. So what we're going to be starting with is by making a simple lobby. So what I'm going to do is uh, delete the base plate and keep the spawn location. And I'm going to add a part, which I'm going to position to 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to resize it to a any size I want. And what I'm going to do is just change its material, maybe glass. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, give it a color so it will be a bit darker than the normal spawn. And I'm going to make it smooth plastic. And I'm going to make its reflectance a bit higher so that it looks uh, a bit cooler. Now, what I'm going to do is make sure it's anchored and make sure that I can collide is unchecked. I mean, uh, is checked. And what I'm going to do now is add a folder into the workspace and rename it to lobby. Okay, so now what we're going to do is add a, another part, which will be the join-in part. Make it as big as you wish. And I'm going to make it purple in this case. And after doing that, I'm going to give it a better color like this a nice neon purple and when they touch this they will get teleported to another place so i'm going to make sure that this is anchored and that can collide is unchecked this time and i'm going to duplicate this part and put it right uh here maybe um let's make this part a bit smaller and put it here and put the other one right here and i will also make sure that it's uh, just smooth plastic. You can make your lobby look way cooler than mine. I, if this isn't in the lobby, it's just a, a bunch of blocks. And what I'm going to do is make sure that I can fly is checked on this one. And I'm going to add some invisible walls. So, I'm going to duplicate this part. Put it right here. And scale this up. And scale this like that and this like this and this what i'm going to do now is make sure that all of these walls are uh renamed to invisible wall and i'm going to make sure that their transparency is set to one and that can collide is checked and make sure that they're anchored now what i'm going to do is just to rename some stuff so this will be the teleport and this will be the join part so i'm going to rename it to join and i'm going to select every single part as well as this as the spawn and put it inside of the lobby folder now what i'm going to be doing is adding a string value in replicated storage and rename it to status and set its value to nil now what I'm going to do is add a screen GUI inside of starter GUI, rename it to main, and I'm also going to add a text label, center it, and change its background transparency to 1 and the size to scale, and I'm going to change the text scale property to true and the font to any font of my choice so in this case it will be uh, any random font that i can find like this and i'm going to change the text color to maybe a nice white and give it a nice little stroke and change the text to uh three dots that's two dots so three 
And what I'm going to do now is rename the text label to status. And I'm going to add a local script. And also, by the way, I uh, used a plugin to convert this to scale. It will be linked in the description. So add a local script. Local script. And rename it to uh, main underscore client. Now what I'm going to do is have a variable for replicated storage. So let rep is equal to game. Come on, get service replicated storage. Now uh, local, let's do a uh, local status is equal to rep, come wait for child status. After doing that, I'm going to do a status dot value dot changed or let's do sta status dot changed on connect function and script dot parent dot status dot text is equal to status dot value after doing that what i'm going to do is uh, copy this line of code and paste it right here and after that, what I'm going to do is play the game and see if this works. So if we update the status, it should change the text. So let's set it to uh, red light. Okay, so it works. Uh, now what I'm going to do is make sure that reset on spawn is unchecked for this uh, screen GUI. So make sure that reset on spawn is set to false. And after doing that, I'm going to add a script into server script service and rename it to main underscore server. After doing that, I'm going to add some, um, I'm going to add a folder into server storage. Sorry if I'm a bit confused. I'm just, uh, I just forgot what I had to do. So add a folder to server storage and rename it to PLR data. Now add a, another folder and rename it to leader stats. Now add a string value into this or a, maybe a int value and rename it to wins now add a folder and rename it to info or information now i'm going to add a bool value rename it to is plain after doing that i'm going to have some variables in our main underscore server script so local players is equal to game can get server service players and players dot player added to connect function player and for underscore comma v in pairs uh game dot server storage game server storage dot uh plr data on get children do if v uh dot name or let's check i think i'm going to make it a variable or just do this so you can either do local cloned is equal to v colon clone cloned dot parent is equal to uh player or you can just do local you can just do v on clone dot parent is equal to player i'm going to go with the second uh option you can choose whatever option you want and now if you go ahead and play the game you should have a wins leader stats now i'm going to make this work so if we touch it it should teleport us here so to do that what i'm going to do is rename this to uh just stats and do a workspace dot lobby dot uh join dot touched dot touched 
on connect function hit if hit got parent on find first child humanoid then local plr is equal to game is equal to players come on get player from character hit got parent after doing that do plr local character is equal to plr dot character or nil if character is not equal to nil then okay so if the car character is detected after doing that we will teleport them so character on move to or let's just do character dot uh, humanoid root part c frame is equal to workspace dot lobby dot teleport dot c frame plus vector three dot new zero comma five comma zero after doing that what we're going to be doing is plr confined first child info or let's do plr.info on find first child is plain dot value is equal to true now if you play the game it should uh show the win stats and if we touch this it should teleport us now we can't exit so the game will start after having a certain amount of players so this is going to be it for today's tutorial well the next part will be adding the actual main game so the status will be working as well as some other stuff and yeah if this helped make sure to subscribe share the video uh, like the video and i will see you all in the next video bye